Hey guys, Coach Hansen again. Week two of online learning, and I miss you students so badly. I also miss baseball and softball. As a former player and a coach, I really miss going out there and watching you guys play and your Little League games and your travel ball, high school. So instead of baseball and softball, I know we can't play that right now, we can do the next best thing, and that is wiffle ball. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my family outside and I'm gonna teach you some basics about wiffle ball, show you some variations, and try to explain wiffle ball so you guys can play and have fun in the yard. So let's get out there and play. Hey guys, so this is what we used for our wiffle ball game setup. Wiffle ball is basically like baseball, softball, kickball. You're gonna set up your bases in a diamond. We used a glove for home, a cone for first, a shoe for second, a rag for third. The blue bucket is simply to keep the items in the middle of the field. You can play handball, wiffle ball. You can use a tennis racket with tennis balls. The idea is play the same rules as baseball and softball and kickball, but wiffle balls typically don't travel as far. And it depends on what size yard that you're playing in as to what item you can use. So we used our front yard to play wiffle ball and we just love getting outside, especially at night, uh, enjoying the sunshine and getting some exercise. So my wife wanted to show these boys how to play wiffle ball. She is the best athlete in the family. She drove one deep to center. Notice her rounding all the bases. If you make it all the way around, what is that called? That's right, a home run. So Tucker tried to give it a shot. He had a line drive. He rounded first, headed to second. He did not want to get out, so he calls timeout and calls for a ghost man. A ghost man means he gets to stay there, and now Tucker gets to try to hit his ghost man. This in. time it's Jack's turn to hit. Hits a line drive. Gets to first base. Ooh, he does not want to get out at second, so he runs back. Calls for a ghost man at first base. So his ghost man's at first. He gets up here. Tries to advance his ghost man with a line drive. Gets to first base before they throw the ball to second base. So he and his ghost man are both safe. Runners would be at first and second base on the play. Devin hit a line drive. She's rounding second base. She's headed for third. But on this one, Jack put the ball in the bucket. If you play this way, the bucket means the runner has to go to the previous base that they just touched. Another variation is to use an underhand toss with a tennis ball. Jack used a tennis racket to hit a line drive. He's rounding first, touches second base, rounds third. He is headed for home. That's a tennis racket home run. Another variation, use an old pair of socks, wind it up. Here comes an underhand softball pitch. Jack uses his hand like handball, and he is too quick. He is safe at first base. Another underhand handball. It's caught by Jackson. What a catch. And they're going to celebrate with a nice mother-son high five. Now, if you're a power hitter, you might want to have a challenge by hitting opposite hands. So I switched and I showed him how to hit left handed, a little Chipper Jones style here. Rounded first, I'm safe at second, but I tried to get sneaky here and steal third. She caught me and tagged me, so I'm out. Oh, no high five here. They're going to use the elbow. So here's another variation. If you just want to play one base wiffle ball, the runner goes to first, heads back to home, then runs to first again. So each time you make it to first back to home, you would get a point. So it's another good variation, especially if you're playing one-on-one -on -one wiffle ball. It just adds a little bit of flavor to the game. So if you notice here, Jack hits the ball, he's taken off to first. So the more times you can go to first, home, back to first again, you can just keep tallies and keep score that way. There's a lot of different variations for a wiffle ball. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had a great time uh, recording the video. We try to play wiffle ball at least once or twice a week. So it really depends on the size of the yard that you guys have. Front yard, backyard, make sure it's safe. Make sure you set up the bases the correct way and just send me a video. If you guys have a good video of your family playing wiffle ball, I would love to see it. Thanks again.